It's 8.45 a.m. and just had another completely sleepless night um, from the withdrawal. I've been withdrawing now for eight weeks and um, the insomnia has been really, really bad a lot of times. Uh, some nights I'm lucky, you know, if I can get just a few hours of sleep. Uh, the thing that keeps me up a lot of the time is the pain in my feet and my legs. I have found that using ice or heating pad, especially the heating pad, helps tremendously. I mean, it's not good. Doesn't really go real well with the sweats, you know, that you get, but it does give you some relief in your legs. And so that's what I'm doing, and um, I'm to the point where I need to just completely be off of these pills. Go ahead, get the withdrawal completely over with, but I haven't been able to do it yet. Um, still working on it. I'm sad. Some days I. I can take as little as one and a half pills, which is really, really great. Then there are other days I need three or three and a half. And since I've dismissed myself from the pain management group, of course, I don't have access to this medication anymore. And I am running low. And I'm going to say by about the end of the month, I'm going to be having to withdraw from either lack of having the painkillers or hopefully I'll be off of them by then. I'm pushing myself really, really hard to come off. I'm doing anything I can think of. Um, another thing that I've helped, found that's really helped with the severe restless legs is um, I, my mom sells Shackley and I've been taking Shackley's um, Osteomatrix and their vitamin B and then the thing that really helps the restless legs is the Vital Mac and I think that helps more than anything and then for the pain in the feet Salon Paws seem to help really well um, it didn't completely knock it out but combined with heat it usually helps tremendously um, say so if it wasn't for the the pain I think I might be able to sleep although I'm just real you just feel really edgy and so I'm hoping to be able to maybe rest a little bit you know I just fall asleep for maybe 30 45 minutes at a time and um, my husband just lets me sleep if I sleep because he knows that I'm probably been up all night. And so it's really, it's taking its toll on me and my job and everything else. But so I just, right now my main concentration is completely getting off these painkillers that this pain management doctor has gotten me hooked to. And one thing I'm, I really want to tell people is, you know, try to avoid pain management doctors. You know, try alternative therapies like chiropractic, massage, psychotherapy, acupuncture. I mean, there are just so many things you can do. And the acupuncture is extremely effective with helping with the withdrawal. Um, I found that those things really help. And then the... Also, if you can um, detox your liver, that's that seems to also help. And uh, so you just got to keep persevering and just keep on, you know, working on it. And hopefully, eventually, you get off of it. And I'm, I cut my pills into fourths and I take as little as possible. But... I take as, you know, I, I take enough that's effective, you know, that will knock, enough to knock the edge off, and, um, so I just, 
I would love to get some sleep and I would love to have some pain relief and the light mis very very light massage on my feet and legs does help tremendously so that's something I would suggest for you um, those are the those are the really the main those are the main things um, the insomnia sometimes I can use like a hypnosis a deep sleep hypnosis app and um, as long as I'm not in a lot of pain that usually helps me relax and I can go to sleep so that's something else you could try if you're going through what I'm going through and if you don't mind please subscribe to my channel and I plan on putting a lot of other videos on here um, one thing I'm really wanting to do is I want to review some products and in order to do that I do have to have um, a minimum of 500 subscribers in order to actually start reviewing products and getting the products from the companies to review uh, so if you don't mind help me out just by subscribing and saying I'll put more videos of my dogs on there and hopefully and then I uh, plan on updating on the Percocet withdrawal and you know how that's going and just and then after that you know I'll update on how I'm doing just in general after I get off the Percocet and um and like right now I'm just trying to set small goals for myself like right now my goal is to get off the Percocet and also get the taxes done and then my next goal is going to be to really work on strengthening my ankle and my leg so I can stand actually get out and take really good walks or ride a bike um, and also I want to get I've got to get my immune system built back up because uh, I was receiving cortisone without cortisone shots without knowing that cortisone was in it. I was not told that it was in it. And it's really, it killed off my immune system from having injections for so long um, with cortisone being included in it. And so my my next goal is to work on the strengthening and building my immune system up and then after that I'm gonna work on you know just losing the weight getting back into shape um, just working on really getting healthy and feeling better and hopefully my experience will help some other people and I just you know I've uh, I'm a massage therapist and so I mean I want to help people that's why I do that and what I, I don't recommend that anybody go on opiate medications if they can help it try to go with something else because with the, the withdrawal is pure hell um, and I know I don't have it as severe as a lot of people do because I you know I didn't get up to as many pills as some people tend to but anyway subscribe to my channel and I will keep putting just all sorts of videos on here and if you have any video requests just let me know and I will see you all later